You know how I like to overkill my point? I will talk fast. Drowsiness, weakness, nausea, mood swings, agitation. You see it on the screen? This sticks out. Confusion, delusions, dementia, depersonalization, and difficult, difficulty breathing. Think about how these things affect martial arts as well as your life. Euphoria, headache, back pain, muscle aches, nervousness, paranoia, quick to react emotionally, rapid weight gain, rapid mood changes, shakiness, drowsiness. Again, I'm reading the things that stick out the most. Sweating, trembling, trouble sleeping, tiredness, weakness, weight gain, loss. Blurred speech, a blurred vision, I mean, change in balance, patterns and rhythms of speech. Clumsiness, joint disease, difficulty moving, dizziness, indigestion. All these things affect mind, body, and soul, your performance, and what people think of you. Lack of coordination, leg cramps, loss of strength or energy, muscle pain, stiffness, shakiness, unsteady walk. Again, this is for Depakote. This is one pill. Many people are more than one pill. Slurred speech, twitching, uncontrolled movements, unsteadiness, trembling, loss of consciousness. Funny how the occult talks about God consciousness. Impaired vision. Okay, so I'm experiencing this, you know, sensitivity to sunlight, impaired vision. I've experienced everything that I've read so far. These are all very likely to occur. Loss of memory, problems with memory, seeing double, uncontrolled eye movement, back pain, cramps. You see in some of my videos, I lose my train of thought. Yes, short-term memory is part of that. These are disgusting. I don't want to really get into them. Um, just let you see them for yourself and we'll move on. This next one, it talks about stiff neck. Ah yes, here we are, stiff neck. It affects martial arts and weightlifting. It, it increases your likelihood of injury. It makes you more prone to injury. So now you know that you've seen that these things cause the same problems they claim to treat and more. It's not only 10% or more of patients experience new mental illness symptoms or new symptoms of mental illness rather but it also dramatically increases the symptoms they're having in many cases not to mention dehumanizes them makes them drowsy and all these horrible effects hair loss and blurred vision but again i want to keep this brief so these are the psychiatric ones again look at the problems that they create and once you start saying you're having these problems your doctor puts you on another pill to address those problems. And if you say that, oh, you know, uh, my medicine is not good enough, that's why I'm acting up, they're gonna take you back to a shrink either way. You know, once they've got you in the system, they're always gonna look to psychiatry to solve your problems. They're never gonna tell you to detox or eat healthy or do martial arts. They're gonna always say, go back to a psychiatrist. So now you can see how much better than other martial artists I am experiencing all this stuff, yet no one can beat me, thank you. And so now let's compare these to the MK MKUltra um, goals. These are the goals of MK Ultra on record. They have all their sources in order in this article. Keep in mind, the military is always looking to weaponize new sciences, not just technology, but also drugs. A lot of these psych meds came from the military, including prescription meth, when Hitler used to prescribe meth. So let's look at this, shall we? Substances which will promote illogical thinking and impulsiveness. That is on the list of Depakote alone. Substances will increase the F efficiency of mentation and perception 
Well, that's one of the things that they're looking for in mental health in the first place. They, they want people to focus. They do mindfulness exercise. So yes, materials which will cause the victim to age or faster or slower in maturity. Absolutely, absolutely. Changing this mind state, you know, altered state of minds is what psych meds do. Materials which promote the intoxicating effect of alcohol. Many of these psych meds say don't drink alcohol on the when you're taking these drugs because they dramatically increase or promote the effect of alcohol materials which produce the signs and symptoms of recognized diseases in a reversible way so that they may use for be used for malingering well these produce the symptoms of recognized mental disease and other diseases um, probably because they're actually causing these diseases and perhaps if you catch them early on, it is reversible. So yes, so far five for five. Materials which will cause temporary or permanent brain damage and loss of memory. We went over that memory loss, so now we're at six of six. Substances which will enhance the ability of individuals to withstand privation, torture, and coercion during interrogation and so-called brainwashing. So basically these drugs are supposed to make you tolerate things more, right? That's why you're drugged, you're sedated. When you're in this drugged up state of mind, you're more likely to tolerate annoyances. So yes, that one works as well. Seven of seven. Eight, materials and physical methods which will produce amnesia and for events preceding and during their use. Again, that's the memory loss. Um, I think we even went over amnesia. There was something like that. Um, there's dementia. That's pretty close. Loss of consciousness, yes. Um, Absolutely. So that 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 uh, counts as well. So where are we? Yes. No. We're eight. It from eight. Now we're on nine. Physical methods of producing shock and confusion over extended periods of time, and capable of surreptitious use. This is more of the electroshock therapy. It's part of psychiatry, but these aren't the substances. So. Yes, as far as psychiatry goes, we're nine of nine. Substances with which produce physical disablement, such as paralysis of the legs, acute anemia, etc. So there's muscle aches, um, loss of balance, stiffness of muscles, leg cramps. So now we're at uh, 10 of 10. 11, substances which will produce a chemical that can cause blisters. Um, I don't really know about this one. I did see something about pain during sex. And that that's implies something like that, but we'll, we won't count it just to be completely scientific. So we're at 10 of 11. Substances which alter personality structure in such a way that the tendency of the recipient to become dependent on, upon another person is enhanced. We see de depersonalization, and we, we know that these things have that effect on people. I don't think I have to explain that. And that's why there's TCONs or temporary conservative ships, because people are dependent on their caretaker. Let's look up the term caretaker if you don't believe me. Anyway, um, so we're at 11 of 12. 13, a material which will cause mental confusion of such a type that the individual under its influence will find it difficult to maintain a fabrication under questioning. This one is very interesting. It's also what the effects of these drugs have. Because when you're a drugged up idiot, it's very easy to catch someone a lie. You're like, uh, I think so. But you just said this earlier. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You see what I'm saying? That's what these drugs do. So it makes it hard to maintain a fabrication. It's not saying it makes it um, hard to lie. It says it makes it hard to maintain that lie. So we're at 12 of 13. That one counts as well. 14, substances which will lower the ambition and general working efficiency of men when administered in undetectable amounts. Notice it says men specifically. Hmm. Feminist psychology comes to mind. Anyway, so basically killing ambition. Um, there's loss of strength or energy. That kills ambition. Um, let's see, let's see, what do they say? Ambition. Okay, there's something about that here. Personality change. That, that can qualify as that. Um, drowsiness. That kills ambition. Nervousness. Yeah, if you're scared, you're not going to be too ambitious. You know, if you're nervous. 
I mean, just when you're a drugged up idiot, you lose ambition. So yes, we found enough of these so we can logically say that yes, that counts as well. So that's 13 of 14. 15, substances which promote weakness or distortion of the eyesight or hearing facilities, preferably without permanent effects. So we've seen the dizziness, we've seen the um, seeing double uncontrolled eye movement. So yes, that covers that as well. Uh, so we're at 14 of 15. There's only two left. A knockout pill, which can be surreptitiously be administered in food, drinks, cigarettes, or drinks food, you know, as an aerosol, which will be safe to use, provide a maximum of amnesia, and be suitable for use by agent on an ad hoc basis. Absolutely. We see the drowsiness, the tiredness, the loss of consciousness. Um, so yes, this is right up their alley. 17, so we're at 16 of, or 15 of 16. Now we're on the last one. A material which can be surreptitiously administered by the above roots and which in very small amounts will make it impossible for a person to perform physical activity. Absolutely. We see the drowsiness, the weakness, the nausea. We see the difficult breathing, the headache, back pain, muscle aches, um, shakiness, drowsiness, trembling. Tiredness, weakness, weight gain, weight loss, blurred vision, um, clumsiness, jo joint disease, dizziness. These people went over these more than once. I'm reading from my notes. Lack of coordination, leg cramps, loss of strength, muscle stiffness, shakiness, unsteady walk. So when you go through this, everything, you know, we're at 16 of 17. The only one that didn't qualify or that wasn't, you know, on record the same as the MK Ultra goals was the blisters. Who knows? Maybe these psych meds do cause blisters. Don't know. They're not on the stated effects, so I don't count them. So 16 of 17 things I've proven with just Depakote alone. And keep in mind, you can Google that there is an aerosol spray for anxiety. There's more than one. There are, you know, different... You know, there's there's some pills that melt in your mouth. There's some pill, you know, sometimes they inject these things. There's different ways to administer psychiatric drugs. So when all is said and done, yes, I am correct. And keep in mind the goals of MK Ultra was to play people out and to do mind control and to make people a way that was conducive to the American propaganda machine success. So absolutely, they're trying to make people look like babbling idiots to lose their memory, to be to make them more readily exploitable. And keep in mind the exploitation psychop patch and the power of influence patch I've shown you, the power of pers persuasion and more. So absolutely, I've proven definitively that psychiatry misrepresents their intentions and motivations. They are a bunch of unethical, experimenting, you know, experiment doing eugenicists who wish to control people and influence their philosophy and use individuals and groups for the psychological effect they'll have on themselves and they'll have on society using those people as examples and trying to make them the village idiot, the class clown, and a fool in the eyes of others. Thank you.